Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are enjoying your time. Please, again boys, I'm going to request boys and girls, subscribe my channel. Please share my videos with your friends, with your colleagues who is suffering in computer architecture. I hope after seeing this, it, it would be very easy for them to tackle this, the computer architecture. So in today's lecture, uh, we will see the binary additions. We have two methods for the binary additions. The normal one, the borrows one. We took the borrows and we subtract them. The other one is like to take the two's complement of the B and then add with A, okay? We will see the both uh, method uh, from the start, okay? Let's suppose this is our first number. We will see like how we took the borrow and how we do the subtractions, okay? If I'll see here, one minus zero, we got the one here, okay? Zero minus one, here, here we need the borrow. So borrow will come here. So it will become one zero. It will become one zero. One zero is what? Two. So two minus one is one. Two minus one is one, okay? So when borrow is gone here, it will become zero here. It will become zero here, okay? It will become zero here. So zero zero zero. One 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 minus one zero. Okay. Again here we have to borrow from here to here. It will become one zero two. It will become like two. Two is nothing, which is one zero. Okay. Two minus one is one. Okay. So here what what it left? Again, because here we don't have anything. So we have to borrow from here to here, then here to here. Okay. So when we borrow from here to here, it become two. It become two. But when I took the borrow one more time here, so it will become, it will remain as one, okay? It will remain as one here. So one minus one, zero. So it, we already took the borrow, it will remain zero. Zero minus zero is zero. So it is the borrow operation, okay? Subtraction with the borrow, okay? Uh, subtraction with the borrow. Let me uh, take this and, okay, let me try to, I don't think so copy will work uh, let me check uh, can I paste it here yeah I can paste it here and let's suppose the other number I have is the other number is like this okay let's put uh, the other number I have like this okay so here uh, let's suppose we are going to uh subtract okay if you're going to subtract so again here it is like uh if i see like one minus zero is one okay and here if i see one one will come here it will make as two one zero it will become two two minus one one here this will become zero because borrow is already gone so zero minus zero zero here one minus one zero but here we see we have two zeros okay so we need to take the borrow from first from here to here when borrow will be here it will become one zero but it will become like two and this will become zero and then borrow from here to here this will become one and this this will become one and this will become one zero this will become two two minus one one okay here what remain one one minus one, one zero hit always zero zero minus zero zero and zero so this is the normal process uh with the uh with the borrows uh, borrows thing but we can also uh do the other method which is the complement method and the mostly people focus on that because our architecture with mostly system focus on two's complement so we can subtract easily with the two's complement. How to find two's complement? Let's suppose we have this number. Okay, same. Let's suppose we have this number again. Let uh, let me uh, sorry. Uh, let me copy these two number again to my here. Let me paste it here. Okay, and uh, the other number is the other number is. Okay, guys, uh, let's suppose the other number is this one. Okay, so we have to subtract. 
so first i will took this number i will took this number okay and we will find the two's complement so i will find the two's complement of this number okay let's suppose uh, what is this number this is actually nothing it is actually 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 okay how to find two's complement just we, first we have to find the ones complement so for the first we have to find the ones ones complement so for the ones we have just invert the bits this will become one this will become one this will become zero 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 this will become one this will become zero this will become one this is the first complement for the two's complement just add one in it okay when we will add one it this one and one will become two zero and one will carry one here it will come one all other will be the same one zero 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 one one so after two's complement what value we got one one triple zero one one zero one one triple zero same here we have the same one one triple zero if if you will see here it is like one one triple zero and one one okay here you can find you can see you can see here okay you can see here this is actually this is we find here so this is like one one triple zero one one after finding the two's complement okay this is what we got like one one or okay so after that we have to simply add very simple how it is like uh, it is like by simply adding one because after this is what we got okay we can see this value we can see this value one one triple zero one one zero uh if, if i open this one one triple zero one one zero how we how we find this with the two's complement got it by simple addition one plus zero one okay then one plus zero one then one plus one is okay Z one plus one two zero one carry here one and one again one will carry here one and one uh two which is zero one will carry here this one will come simple here then zero plus zero zero one plus one is two zero one will carry okay so one plus one two zero and one will be carry here so this carry is up till now we have discarded okay so can we did we get the same result triple zero one triple zero one double zero one one double zero one we got the same result okay so the two's complement method is the good method and easiest method to find the subtraction because here to taking the borrowers it's somehow a little bit tough and also for our the architecture it's very easy to find the two's complement because the inversion is just we have one only one uh, uh, not get to invert the bits and one simple one bit adder to add okay so we will get easily two's complement and then halas we will add them and we will get the subtraction result got it so here again my final value carries ignore because the negative number is sign extended with ones so if because this if this is negative number all ones will be put if it is positive number all zeros will be put for the extension okay i hope guys uh this subtraction with simple method and with the two's complement method is now clear to you okay now here it's come the hexadecimal subtraction it is the same with the borrows method and with the uh with the complement method okay same if we see the borrow borrows method how the borrows method will work okay five minus seven can we do five minus seven no but we will took the carry from here to here sorry not carry borrow so in hexadecimal when we will took the borrow it is not a one it will be 16 it is 16 so i borrow 16 16 plus 5 is 21 so this will become 21 so 21 minus 7 21 minus 7 how much 14 so 14 is e so e will come here okay okay this is simple so when borrow is gone it will remain 6 here it will remain 6 so 6 minus 4 2 okay 6 2 4 c a it is like again c a c is uh, 13 a is uh, c is 12 a is 10 so it is 2 10 minus 12 is 2 so this is like this okay when the value is greater than uh, 16 you have to uh, borrow like this okay when like here the value is less than you have to borrow okay 
this is easy but but here again we have to find the two's complement of this the, this we'll find the two's complement of this okay how we find the two's complement as we see in the previous slide we have just we have to subtract from the 15 these value from the 15 subtract from the 15 okay 15 minus 7 8 okay sorry 9 so you will got uh, sorry 8 15 minus 7 is 8 okay and then 15 minus 4 you will got b 15 minus 2 you will got 13 which is d 15 minus a which is 10 okay sorry 15 minus a is 5 the subtraction 5 you will get so after 2's complement just add them and your result will be here it is the same as we see previously okay i hope this has a decimal subtraction is also clear if it is not clear please just let me uh, know in the comments okay so here up till now it's very easy no we have to check the range of the signed integer okay as we know for the unsigned the range is from 0 to 2 raised power n minus 1 this is for the unsigned integers okay from 0 to 2 raised power n minus 1 unsigned the unsigned okay for the unsigned but for the signed you know this is the new range like minus 2 raised to power n minus 1 to 2 raised to power n minus 1 the smallest number you will find with this formula the negative number and the high, largest you will find with this formula okay and the range will be between this and this okay let's suppose i have 8 bit number okay so i have 8 bit okay so you i will find the range minus 2 raised power n is 8 8 minus 1 7 2 raised power 7 2 2 raised power n 8 minus 1 7 minus 1 okay so 2 raised power 7 is 128 so it is like from minus 128 to 2 raised power 7 128 minus 1 127 127 so for 8 bit number so for 8 bit number you can find the range with this formula the, which is actually minus 128 to 127 the values are again the the number are 256 numbers okay the containing number are 256 but the range is from minus 128 to plus 127 and sign is always with the sign okay so here for the 8 bit for the byte okay again for the half word it is 16 16 bit so you have to find like 2 raised power 15 and like this okay so this is the formula and you can find the range so you can find you can tell any anyone like the minimum number with the the sign bit is this and maximum number with the sign bit is this okay got so you can tell what is the range of the sign value that may be stored in 20 bit so you can easily tell the lower and the higher uh, range of the 20 bits number okay with the given formula i hope guys this is clear to you and uh, please guys again subscribe my channel share the videos with your friends so see you in, in the next lecture thank you